What's up guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to get clients uh, on Facebook without using paid ads on Facebook. Okay, so paid ads are great, they're awesome, they're wonderful, but they cost money. So what we're going to do is I'm going to show you how to use Facebook groups to get clients or to at least get leads or to at least like start meeting some people who you know might be able to help you out. Okay, so basically, you know, depending on what your niche is, what business you're in, you're going to want to target different groups, right? Like I do marketing, which is applicable pretty much to every business out there. So it's a little bit easier for me, but if you sell picture frames or something, it's gonna be a little bit harder, okay? So let's, let's go with marketing because that is my niche and um, what we're going to do is we're going to go to this search bar right here and let's go to, oh, I don't know, how about small business? Now, these are a few groups that I've already joined. Okay, now I haven't actually looked at these, so I don't know how good they are or not. Generally, the business groups tend to be full of people who are just like selling their own stuff and not really listening to other people. You don't have a lot of engagement on the groups, although this, let's see here. See, one like, five comments two likes, three comments, you know, a couple comments on here. All right, so these actually aren't very good. Um, now, let's look at another group that I'm actually, carnivore diet. All right, now, generally, like, when you're looking for groups, you want to find people who are, like, fanatical about something, right? Like, I don't know if you guys are into fitness or anything. I am, I have another fitness YouTube channel which you guys should definitely go check out. But these carnivore diet people, these are like basically like vegans, all right, in terms of their like obsessiveness with like all of the food that they eat and how they only eat meat and like, you know, like how vegans are like, we don't eat meat, like meat is bad, we eat everything else except meat. Carnivore people are like, we only eat meat, everything else is bad, you know, they're just like a little weird. So like you go in this group and you have a lot of uh, engagement on this. Now this is a group with 10,000 members. This, com this uh, has 16 comments, three likes, 10 comments. Uh, this guy says he's giving up after trying for three weeks. Um, so basically like you can go into these groups and you can kind of look around and see like, are any of these people into a business? Or maybe if you sell some sort of fitness related product or a nu nutrition related product, you would look in this type of group. But let's say, cause we started with marketing services. So let's look for, I don't know, how about some sort of trade maybe plumber is an easy one uh, maybe plumber groups Who we have here plumbing hacks tool material and equipment trader it's a buy and sell page all right yes yes I'm obviously not um, all right so that's gonna take a while to join um, but basically like another another group of people that I'm in is what's called a digital nomad, right? So if you guys don't know what a digital nomad is, it's basically like a fancy way of saying a freelancer that likes to travel a lot. So what you can do is you can join like all these groups, like here's one that I'm a part of, um, and ooh, let's join that one. Okay, uh, okay. Right, the worst, the worst thing they can do is kick you out, all right? Now, what you can do is you can go into these groups and this, I actually like this group or these types of groups because these are all basically entrepreneurs, right? A freelancer is essentially an entrepreneur. They don't get a, they don't get a salary. They are, you know, they're, they have to get their own clients on their own, which means that they have to be a salesperson and a business person at the same time. So all these people generally have businesses, right? Let's look at this guy. One frustrating thing I've been exposed how to digital nomad. Difficult to join gyms, fitness centers. Okay, we don't care. Uh, where did you learn your work skill set? All right, so somebody who's asking this means they don't know anything. Like, why would this person be asking where you learned your skills? It's because they don't have any skills and they're trying to learn some skills, right? So what I would contact this person with, and this is where you kind of need to like be a little bit flexible in terms of the products and services that you sell. I would offer them a course. I would say, hey, listen, I've got some really cool courses that I think would help you. It'll teach you how to um, I don't know, make landing pages. It'll teach you how to write cold emails. It'll teach you how to get leads with PygonBot, for example, right? And then I would send this person some links to what I have. 
Now this strategy is a little bit more personalized, right? Whereas if you guys have seen my videos about PygonBot, you'll know that those are more like mass mailing campaigns, essentially. Like you can do more targeted campaigns with that, but I personally just like to carpet bomb like the entire internet, but that's just me. These ones I would recommend, especially because you don't want to get your Facebook account closed. Look here, let's do it. Liani Rodriguez. All right. Uh, let's send her a message. You want to make it a little bit more personalized because you don't want to get reported for spam. Hey, Liani. Liani, I saw your message on the digital nomads. Facebook page and wanted to offer you some advice. Uh, I don't know. I actually have a lot of free material that will help you um, learn about, help you learn different skills that you can use to start your digital nomad career. A great place to start would be this video where you can learn how to generate leads for whatever business you decide to eventually go into. Uh, what you can even do is just generate the leads, close the deals yourself, and then contract the work out to another company uh, so you actually don't even have to learn any skills. Anyway, if you have any questions, feel free to shoot me a message. Thanks, or whatever, that's fine. Okay, now what I'm gonna do, I'm going to send this lovely young lady a link to one of my videos. Now, okay, so how long did that take, right? That took me about a minute you know, let's say it takes five minutes. What I like to recommend that people do is to um, contact, I would say 50 people per day, all right, with whatever you're trying to sell. Okay, now those don't have to all be on Facebook, but I would say, and, and this is excluding any sort of mass marketing you're doing like through Pygambot or Facebook ads or anything like that. Um, all right, so let's see. I'm going to send her to this video. Just kidding, this video. Get shareable link. And I'm going to send her there. Now, this is like in, in the startup world, they tell you to do things that don't scale, right? So this is not scaling. This is me sending a personalized message to one person and a link to my... YouTube channel, which I can't spam all of Facebook with this because Facebook will shut down my account, right? So like this is more of like a personal strategy that I, I recommend you do as well because you'll also generate a lot of leads with this. You'll have a higher success rate. Cool. So um, that is how to find clients through Facebook groups. Uh, basically, to sum it up, you're going to go into Facebook groups that have something to do with freelancing or, well, you know, I guess it depends on, on whatever your niche is, right? But, but go into Facebook groups and look for people who are looking for help with something and just essentially offer to help them and figure out how to, you know, get something out of it, I guess, you know, in a non, like, scammy way. Cool. If you guys have any questions, feel free to ask away. If you like the video, click like. If you want to set up a uh, consultation with me where I can basically get on the phone with you, and go over any you know problems you might have with your marketing strategy. I'm happy to do that. I do coaching, consulting, um, and uh, yeah, hit me up. Peace.